In video number 20, we brought the boat from the shop down to the waterfront, but there was still plenty of work to be done. And then in our last video, we focused on Zambia because we were out of town and they did a lot of work while we were gone. Plus, we had some exciting things happen here yesterday. So, here it all is. This is the day after they brought the boat to the waterfront and they're putting the flybridge roof on. Now, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a lot of wires and stuff hanging out of the supports. There's the wiring for the solar panels, for the stereo speakers, and for the lighting and everything. All that had to be routed through a little channel before they could actually set the supports down and bolt them down. And then there are forward supports that are stainless steel. They're, they're kind of like ladders to help you get up to the top of the flybridge. Yep, those will go on later on. By the way, we didn't take this. Many thanks to the folks that sent us videos and stills of all the stuff that happened while we were out of town. Such as these photos so of... All this, right, all the photos of the splash we didn't take either, so... Yeah. That was great we were on to vacation. get these. But she looks good in the water, doesn't she? She is yar. <laughs> the mass was delivered in two parts, all bundled up, and they spent a good couple of days in the parking lot actually assembling the mast and routing cables and putting on all the extra bits and pieces, so there was a lot of work. And there's lots of stuff here on the mast, on the, on the spreaders. What, what is all that? We'll talk about that later. Later. Oh. Kevin looking up at the drone. <laughs> Once they finally got it all fitted up, they brought in a giant crane to lift it up. Now this was the second crane. This was this two, day two. The first crane was just about three feet too short. So take two, but this time it worked. This was nerve wracking. That thing is huge. It's almost 70 feet tall. And 800 kilos or, or what's that, 1600 pounds? By the time you add the boom and the rigging and the sails and everything, it's almost a ton of total weight that it adds to the boat. Luckily, it wasn't, it wasn't a really windy day. Wow. See, so put that cardboard box down. This is an interesting part of the process. They took the bottom plate, that's what Jesse's holding in his hands, they took the bottom plate loose and they're shaking the mast and banging on it. And what they're trying to do is get all of the loose bits of rope and metal shards and all the drill filings and everything else out of the boom so that it's not on our boat. Wow, you don't want that on your boat. Jeez. Exactly. They showed this happening, we showed it happening really quickly, but this took almost an hour and a half from the time they lifted it to the time they got it seated. You won't, don't want to rush this. You don't want to drop it through the deck or put it through a plate glass window. Right, right. And, you know, that foresail is, is just looking out there. This whole thing about placing a coin under the mast for luck. Well, I think one of the theories is, is that if you crash, you get to pay your way into the afterlife. Oh. Or maybe it's just an offering to Neptune and the gods. That was another theory, that it's an offering to Neptune that and the gods. That like a much better theory. I like the offering idea better than if you crash and die, you get to go to Valhalla or wherever. So, again, we're showing it pretty quickly, but it was an arduous process to actually get it done. By the way, they don't actually bolt the base of the mast down. You think that they put a bunch of bolts and bolts on there to hold it down. It actually just kind of fits over a little stub and it's the weight of the mast itself plus the shrouds pulling it down, the pressure of the shrouds pulling it, that keeps it in place. There's I, not a lot of bolts that hold it there. It I just did not know that. Fits over a little slot. And I guess the, the forward, the foresail. Forestay. Forestay keeps it it keeps it from falling backwards right. and the boom puts weight on the back and the shrouds on the side keep it from falling sideways there's a whole art to it and that guy trevor that's setting everything up he's really good at this he's been doing it for 25 years mm -hmm. this is the second time we've seen Tre trevor rig a mast and put the whole thing together there's a handful of riggers here in south africa that do this but he's pretty much considered to be the best So, it's and on. The shrouds. And the shrouds are, are on too now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is 
after the, the after everything got set up. All, all set, mm -hmm. right? Final adjustments are being made. So can we talk about this stuff now? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay. All right. Can we talk about this stuff now? Now we can talk about it. This is what it would look like if you were actually up on the bosun seat, like Sion was a little while ago. This is what it would look like if you were up on the bosun seat looking down at the deck of the boat. So let's talk about the bits and pieces. Starting with the apparent wind indi indicator. Which is not electronic, that's right. just a visual. Just look up at it. VHF radio antenna. Steaming light and tricolor light. Steaming if you're motoring, tricolor if you're sailing. And this is the one that, got the, that sends information down to your system. Exactly. Your electronics. Oscar 640 navigation camera, part of the Oscar system. We'll do an entire video just on Oscar because it's a pretty amazing system. Working our way down the mast. Down to the stays. Spreaders. Spreaders. Right. Lots of stuff on those spreaders. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about what's on the spreaders. Starting with the radar antenna, or radome. dome. It used to be a big dome. It's not as big as it used to be. Sat phone antenna, security camera, so we can see what's going on on the front of the boat. Oh, the, the lights. These they have downward lights and upward lights to, and they're blue. I think they're, they're be beautiful. Blue. Pretty comms cool. antennas we'll do an entire video just on the comm system that's on the boat as well so you can look forward to that coming up if you're into telecoms <laughs> like me i know i'm a big old geek but and it's kind of exciting there's stuff. more wait <laughs> <laughs> the digital tv antenna feeds into a converter and it's going to play through the plex system on the boat so if you saw our plex video searchlight run by rf remote control and steaming lights and deck lights and then further down is all the stuff that makes the boom magic. Yeah, but rather than covering that today, why don't we cover that when we actually put the boom on, we'll go through all the gearboxes and everything that drive the end boom furling. And boy, were we happy that it was, it done. was done. We were so excited. <laughs> we're stepped. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.